The hurricane, Gulf of Mexico drilling shutdown, high gas prices, OPEC, it's all a mess. Get this. OPEC officials say they don't understand why gas prices are so high in the U.S. In most major cities, it's becoming a typical sight. Crowds of immigrants gathering at gas stations and convenience stores, waiting for someone to offer them work. But News Central's Jennifer Gladstone tells us why the simple issue of earning a day's pay is ripping some communities apart. Herndon, Virginia. Why has this taken so long to get done? Months, even years? We've had years of neglect in the city. Once these roads are repaved, they'll be known as moratorium streets. A congressional commission is holding hearings and studying ways to protect kids on the Internet. So, for example, adult sites would not have a .com address. They example. might have a .xxx. This new home was under construction in May. Two months later, this is the same house, almost finished and already sold. The premise here is that interest and influence are shifting away from the traditional seat of power and shifting to the tech-rich suburbs. Deloitte & Touche has just released its list of the Fast 50, 50 of the fastest growing companies in each state. In Virginia, many of them are in Tyson's Corner. And one is called C-squared Multimedia. Moving on, let's say you're in charge of a project at work and the cost doubles less than halfway through. Then it quadruples. Most of us would get fired, but not if you're in Congress. The Capitol Visitor Center is becoming a half a billion dollar boondoggle, as Allison Kosick reports. I'm Morris Jones in Washington. You won't believe the pork they're spending. I'll have that story coming up. <laughs> Citizens Against Government Waste invited some real VIPs to this year's Pork Patrol Awards, honoring senators and representatives for wasting taxpayer dollars on frivolous projects. And this year, lawmakers went above and beyond, spending a record $29 billion on pork barrel projects. It is clear our representatives, representatives and senators have shamelessly pursued their pork once again. The piggiest of the pork, half a million bucks for a teapot museum in North Carolina. I'll be coupling, I'll be brewing. That's right, teapots. Hey! Half a million for the Arctic Winter Games in Alaska quarter of a million dollars for the National Cattle Congress in Iowa. <laughs> and we can thank Michigan Representative Vernon Ehlers for spending one million dollars on a water-free urinal conservation study. A water-free urinal? Sounds like money down the drain. The process is broken. It's more about how you feed your re-election cycle than do what is in the best interest of the country. Senator Tom Coburn of Oklahoma, one of few lawmakers there today to speak out against pork barrel projects. He says pork barrel projects are like a drug addiction. Earmarks are the gateway drug to overspending. We are overspending. And what we are spending is future opportunity for our children and grandchildren. Citizens Against Government Waste will actually personally deliver their oinker awards to each lawmaker this year. No word if they'll bring the four-legged pigs along for that trip. In Washington, I'm Morris Jones. The billion dollar business is eBay, with the company just reporting a 28% earnings increase. That tends to shoot down theories the worldwide garage sale has reached its peak. But many consumers still have questions. eBay, beauty or beast? The early days of the internet revolution saw plenty of online buying and selling, with the caveat, buyer beware. You couldn't always trust who you were dealing with, and returns and refunds were sketchy. <laughs> eBay changed all of that. Buyers also have to be honest. Jim Griffith was so excited so about online marketing that he went to work for eBay. I joined the company back when it was uh, only four people. As we've said, buyer beware. You'll recall the recent controversy about the flag that supposedly flew over the Pentagon on 9-11. And with so much money and public attention, Online buyers and sellers are being targeted by the IRS. That's because Uncle Sam wants his take of the profits as well. I'm Morris Jones, News Central. I lost my home. People are losing their homes and mortgage companies are not throwing them a lifeline. The same story heard over and over again. Countrywide has made a nightmare of my house. Countrywide, the nation's largest home loan lender, is being accused of predatory practices for a closing on people without giving them payback options. And I know that on their screen that they have all that information and yet they want you to sit there and they want you to tell your story over and over and again. They were there for me when, you know, to give me the loan, but they don't want to help me keep the loan. Hard times, adjustable rate mortgages that are nearing 15 percent, 
Whatever the problem, some homeowners are losing out on the American dream. While the big news on Wall Street is a bailout for their mortgage company. Wall Street is reacting favorably to Bank of America pumping $2 billion into countrywide financial. A lot of what's driving this is, is this lack of confidence, this panic. Other mortgage companies are telling us the same thing, adding they understand Countrywide's predicament, taking on financial risks in some of their mortgages without the financial padding to weather the storm, even though some homeowners are now drowning in debt. I'm Morris Jones in Washington. Oh. Hybrid cars, why not now? I'll show you the latest concept vehicle that could be in your future. Where's the radio at him? It's turning heads all over Washington, the next generation of hybrid car. People on the street are impressed. We think our next car will be some kind of green car. And this looks pretty good. Plus, this time, General Motors is leading with the technology, not Toyota or Honda. So why isn't it for sale right now? Detroit is waiting for better battery technology. Just like in the movie The Graduate, where plastics were the future, it sounds like batteries are the future. Absolutely. If batteries are the future... So here's the issue critics have with hybrid cars that you plug in overnight. They claim that you end up wasting more energy from power plants than you actually get by driving the car. That is not true. The pluggable hybrid is at least five years away from production. But are oil companies fighting it? A GM spokesman had no comment and said Detroit is moving ahead with the new technology. I'm Morris Jones in Washington. Flight attendants, parking attendants, bridal attendants. By definition, they're helping you unlike automated attendants, which annoy you. I'm Caitlin, XM's automated attendant. When you hear your option, you can say it. It's okay if you interrupt me. Yes, do interrupt. Sometimes if you say agent or operator, you'll get closer to a real person. Other people won't wait. So the first thing is I try zero or zero pound or pound zero or zero star, just anything to try to interrupt it. Sometimes they might say invalid entry, please try again. But when you hear that, that's actually a good thing. Many times that will put you direct to queue to a human if you don't want to sit there and punch buttons all day. Thank you for calling Pepco. We are currently experiencing a high volume of calls, which may result in a longer wait time. Businesses are saving time and money by outsourcing. American companies are expected to send one and a half million U.S.-based call center jobs to other countries, according to the Trade Union Congress of the Philippines. Many times the people who are answering the phone may be fluent in English, but they don't understand the nuances of our life over here. Even if you get a person, you don't have a person in the company in the place where you think you're calling. For example, I called about my XM radio account and became a world traveler without leaving the office. Where are you? Um, we're located in Manila, sir. Oh, you're in Manila? Sir. Oh, great. How's the weather in Manila today? Fine, sir. When the Manila customer service rep learned I wanted to cancel my account, he directed me elsewhere. Okay, I'm Morris. How are you doing today? Fine. Where are you located? I'm located in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Well, Montego Bay, Jamaica. I just talked to somebody in Manila. Bottom line, XM convinced me not to cancel my subscription by offering a couple of months free. AOL has become famous for not letting subscribers leave. I mean, they offer you one thing, say you can cancel at the end of your, 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 your trial period, and then they, they try to con you into staying longer or not canceling. Is it no wonder then that Americans aren't happy with customer service? Companies are not praised as much for services as they used to be. So what can you do about it? Call and complain? I'm sorry, I'm having trouble finding your account. And I'm Morris Jones in Washington.